Feedback from yoga teacher training at CSM, and we are here to exhibit at the Art Museum for Open Heart Yoga. Yay! Besides all of it, the statues, the intricate carvings of Shiva, I could stare at him for a couple more half hours at least. My favorite part was the statues in the beginning. Uh, my favorite was the sculpture of the uh, Shiva's the sitting. So erect and straight in meditation form. It was so interesting to me. And the most, most interesting is that all the text was in Persian, so I could read all the poems I read. <laughs> uh, my favorite parts were the, uh, the stone statues. They were pretty cool. Oh my god, I love the exhibit. My very favorite parts were the tantric yoginis. I think tantra yoga is just nutty and really fascinating. So it's really fun for everyone to get to see part of that history. I, I like like the Yoginis statues though. Yoginis, yeah, the statue, I think you like all three of them are nice. Like the statue uh, of those Yogini, and then actually there's a female Yogini. I always, I always thought there's only the Yogi, it's the male master. But actually, there's a whole group of female Yogini that live in the forest and have their own ashram to practice yoga. Uh, our favorite, my favorite part was the statues that they took off the altars from the temples. Um, I like the statue of the Yogini. This one very much. She makes song and holds her fingers into her mouth. It's great. Yeah. My favorite part was the Yogini's beautiful first statue we saw that was very voluptuous, the first one. Ah, favorite part, I loved the Yogini statue because I felt like women were not as well represented, but she was awesome. Um, my favorite part was probably seeing the different art mediums of ancient India, as well as this amazing sculpture statue found it to be very inspiring especially it's feminine energy <laughs> no, it was really good to see all of the different um, statues that they received from all the different temples and everywhere and some of them were in good condition but it was good to look and see that some pieces were missing and you could actually authenticate them I really like taking a magnifying glass and seeing all of the details. It's amazing. Just all the small things on the paintings. So interesting. My favorite part was the artwork. The artwork. The beautiful artwork. It's always really fun. So I like two. I like everything, but two things that stand out. One was the Vishnu in blue, and just the way it was depicted, like the different layers and chakras, and just apparently he had everything inside him, which was just amazing. And then I like the scroll, uh, which was just so beautifully done. And I have one more thing. I like the chakra. You know, the big painting of the chakras where he says this is the whole life, he's embodying the whole life and I thought that was really cool. So. Yeah. The watercolor paintings, the details on these watercolor paintings are mind-boggling. <laughs> And also the Yogini statue. <laughs> Everything was great. That was phenomenal because you could sit and hear the music and you could see the painting, but that was like really beautiful. Oh, I liked the um, showing the aesthetics with the gray ash, all those little little ascetic yogis with their black hats and their gray ash smeared over their bodies, living off in huts and trees. Hi, 
Uh, my favorite part definitely was uh, the little picture that uh, depicted uh, all the different asana with the uh, description. It sounds really was amazing, and also all the representation of Shiva, the angry part of the Shiva. Yes, I love them. I liked all of it. Um, I really enjoyed watching how the British portrayed the yogis, the fakirs, and how they made it into a magical um, sort of art. It was fascinating. Yeah. I like the transition through time and ending with the modern day practices. Uh, I like the statue of the Jainism man in the, in the halo, and I like the Krishnamacharya um, video sequence because that's always really fun. Um, I don't have a favorite part, I loved it all! <laughs> oh, the hot yoga! Yay!